Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we are going to be doing a review of the Collector Fukui Raptor. This figure hasn't been getting a lot of attention really, and it's kind of surprised me. But also hasn't surprised me in a way, because when the, f the uh, original promo images came out, everyone just kind of went, eh, and I think it wasn't the best. But after getting it in person, I really like this figure and I think it's been really well done. And I really appreciate Collector for doing such an obscure species. So without further ado, let's get into this figure. Now, Fukui Raptor is a theropod dinosaur from Fukui, Japan. That's what it's named after. And it is so cool to have a Mega Raptor in figure form because they, they just they just don't exist. We don't get them. And here comes Collectus. This is in their standard range, so I don't know what scale this is, unfortunately. And the name Fukui Raptor actually means a Thief of Fukui, named after where it's discovered, Fukui, Japan. Um, wasn't the largest animal. I think the one specimen they found was about 4.2 meters, but they don't think it was fully grown. So let's take a look at this figure. Let's hope we get some decent focus, which we never do, do we? Oh, look at that. Look at this head sculpt. Really nice detail, and I really like the coloration. Look at these teeth. They've been so neatly done, and there's no bleeding from the gums. Now, there is a bit of bleeding from the teeth, onto the jawline on mine here. That's a little bit unfortunate, but it's not really that noticeable. It's just been very well done. These two red crests as well. They look more brown on the camera, but they look a little bit more red in person. That's interesting, actually. I love the coloration of this figure. This dark green, and we've got these very light brown, almost orange stripes all over the body. And it's just, this head sculpt has been really, really well done. And there's no shrink wrapping, which is a nice change for Collector, because that's usually one of the problems they have with theropods especially. So, good job, Collector. We've got tiny little nostrils here, you can just make out. I like the little brown splotch on the end of the nose, that's really nice. On the tongue there as well, look at the tongue, I hadn't noticed that. Very nicely done. And move down to the arms, nice and thin as they should be. Non-pronated hands. As to be expected from Collector, now we can see the signature large claws of Mega Raptors. Really well done. And we've even got tiny little splotches of brown on these arms, white claws, correct number of fingers. Very nicely done. Look really naturalistic. They don't look like they're too outstretched, they look like the, uh, the right length. Very nicely done. And if we look close at the torso, See, we've got these tiny, tiny little scoots, these tiny little dermal scoots going all the way down the tail as well. They're really nicely done. The pose on this figure is also both very dynamic, but also very naturalistic. This looks like it's probably bracing something. Maybe it's just seen um, a rival or something, or perhaps it's trying to intimidate someone. Or someone, something. Perhaps it's hunting. Let your imagination go wild. It's very nicely spread on this base. So, well, let's look at the legs. Really nice musculature in the legs there. Not overly so. They look the right length. Correct number of toes. Do claw. On this side as well, same thing. A very nice bracing here. We've got some skin folds here. And the underneath we have um, this almost white um, underbelly and we've got these absolutely tiny scales. That's been really well done. We've got the cloaca, always painted by a collector. We get to the tail, very long, very, uh, well not very curvy but it's curving. But this seems pretty natural. Sometimes collector I think they get um, their tails a bit too bendy but this one looks alright. Yeah, I think I totally believe that this is in the animal's range of motion for its tail. And if it's in quite a dynamic pose, like if maybe it's leaping or it's just landed from a jump or something, it's chasing, 
I can totally believe this and I think it looks really dynamic and very nice. And of course, uh, stood on this base. Our collector space I've definitely gotten nicer over time. Still not amazing though. It's nice to see we've got some detail actually sculpted in. And a nice treat on this one is that we've actually got some leaves sculpted on the base as well. Look at that. But we've got some dirt or sand. It would be nice if the leaves were painted green rather than just the same colour as the base. But maybe I'm asking a little bit too much. <laughs> Sorry if you heard my phone then. So yeah. There we go. Now let's measure this guy up. And my tape measure is caught. There we go. So in terms of the length. You are looking at about, let's say, just shy of 16 centimeters long. In terms of the height, the tallest point is actually the tail. Um, just shy. Actually, no, it's exactly seven and a half centimeters. There we go. And that's all I have to say. This figure is really well done, and like I said, obscure species, this is the only Fukui Raptor I know of. In fact, I had never heard of Fukui Raptor before this figure, so big shout out to Collector for going for such an obscure animal. If you'd like one for yourself, I recommend everythingdinosaur.com, amazing, amazing service. And this figure needs more attention because it is so well done and I don't think it's getting the attention it deserves. So I've been, it's been an absolute pleasure to do this review. Okay, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now.